to start this recipe, we're gonna need to make our simple and beautiful burger patties. Take a large mixing bowl, pop in your beef mince, and just pop that to one side while we prepare our greaseproof paper. We want two sheets of roughly A4 sized greaseproof paper for each burger patty. Take one sheet of your greaseproof paper, then take a nice generous handful of our beef mince, pop that onto the greaseproof paper, take another sheet, pop it on top, and we want to flatten out our burger patty. And we want this a couple of centimeters thick. Once we've done one burger patty, pop that to one side, and we do the same with our second. Pop those to one side and take a nice frying pan onto a medium heat. Lay in our rashers of bacon. We want four slices of bacon for each burger. Just let those tick over in the pan. Get them as crispy and as well done as you like. I like my bacon really rich, really crispy and salty. So I'll leave it in there till it's really nice and golden brown it's entirely up to you guys. Pop that onto a plate and pop it to one side and leave all of your delicious bacon fat in the pan. Next, we're going to take our beautiful, luxurious brioche buns. And we want to pop those into the bacon fat where they're gonna beautifully toast off. And then we take those out of the pan, go in with a nice splash of extra virgin olive oil, get the pan to a nice high heat, lay in your patties gently, Season one side generously with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Compress your patties a little bit so that you get a really nice char on one side. Flip those over and we want to give them another minute or two on the other side. Don't cook them too long and we only want to turn them once or twice. And then gently lay over each burger a nice slice of our plastic burger cheese this 30 seconds to a minute to beautifully melt down and now guys we're ready to serve our beautiful trashy and delicious double bacon cheeseburgers and there we have my version of a double bacon cheeseburger super simple super easy delicious a real treat a great little recipe to have in your arsenal